All right, Shalom, Yashallah. Back with another GMS on the go. I'm Brother Nakum. I'm with the Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Rokar, Kodash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. From teaching us this truth according to the Bible and rule well, and a double shallow one to all the Sirachim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of your ability. And I'm gonna get into a quick hit, and the name of this quick hit is gonna be Fear the Lord Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans who are the real biblical Hebrew Israelites. I'm gonna say that again. The name of this quick hit is going to be Fear the Lord Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who are the real biblical Hebrew Israelites. So without further ado, grab my first precept. This is Job chapter 28, verse 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, not the fear of Allah, not the fear of Buddha, not the fear of the Hindu god of Sheba, not the fear of Santa Maria, not the fear of Haile Selassie, not the fear of Baphomet, not the fear of Serapis, not the fear of none of these false gods who are no gods. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh meaning he is, you see, he exists. And Yahweh Shah meaning he delivers. So I'm reading that from the top again. This is Job chapter 28, verse 28. And unto man, he said, Behold, the fear of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shah, that is wisdom. And what wisdom is that talking about? It's talking about the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. You see, that's the fear of the Lord. It reads on. And to depart from evil is understanding. Right. So when you have the understanding of the wisdom, then you're going to depart from evil. Anything which goes against the word. You see, anything which goes against the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible. You see? So that means you're going to depart from defiling your temple. You know, smoking weed, cigarettes, black and miles, and so forth on. You're going to depart from eating all these abominable foods such as shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. You're going to depart from indulging in sodomy, man with man and woman with woman. You're going to depart from committing adultery, sleep with the next man's wife, vice versa. You're going to depart from marring your beard and making baldness upon your head. You're going to depart from celebrating all these pagan holidays such as Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, Mother Day, Father Day, New Year's, you see, and so forth on. You're going to depart from worshiping all these false gods who are no gods, such as Allah, Buddha, the Hindu god of Sheba, Santa Maria, Haile Selassie, you see, Baphomet, Serapis, you see, and so forth on. If you so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Americans have the understanding of the wisdom, then you're going to depart from evil. Why? Because you fear the Lord. So you so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Americans, you need to fear the Lord. So that's my quick hit. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Rakar Kodash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone from teaching us this truth according to the Bible and who rule well, and a double shalom to all the Siachim throughout the four corners of the earth. Pushing his truth and righteousness and sincerity to the best of ability. So again, you so-called Negroes, Latino, and the Americans, you need to fear the Lord. Till next time, Shalom.